Hi YouTube. Well, fortunately, unfortunately, I guess however the way however you want to see it, I got the day off due to some wisdom teeth removal that I got. I got all four of them removed at the same time. So, uh, when you get your wisdom teeth removed, the Navy allows you three days off from work to recover. And I decided to use this day as basically, um, I have the whole day off. My husband's at work. I have nothing to do. So I decided to make a what's in my car slash car tour video. And I've been watching these a lot on YouTube. I think they're really fun to watch. And I guess I thought that it would be equally as fun to make. Um... I had another channel, but I lost that one about like four years ago, um, I decided to make this new channel, and well, I would really like this to be my first video on this new channel. So yeah, I guess we'll start off with my keys, and then we'll work our way to my car. Well, here are my keys. I don't really have much on them. I don't like to have a lot of keychains on them, that's just me personally. I have my lock, unlock. Uh, panic button paddle right here then I have this uh, fleet and family service for basically for me to get on um, on the gyms on base I have my house key plain and simple my apartment complex doesn't let me make custom keys so I have to use the key that they gave me I have my office desk key and of course the ignition key which is the one that came with the car and when I went to go get my car inspected this year, they gave me this complimentary keychain that says Versa on it, which is the model of my car. And that was really nice of them. I saw them online and they were like eight bucks and I got it for free with my inspection. So that was really nice of them to do, I guess. So yeah, and let's go on. Let's start off with the door. All right, so if we get started with the door right here, this is my door for the driver's side. I have the Trident Spearmint Car Cut Gum, which came with, uh, I think it was, oh yeah, it came with 50 pieces, and I love spearmint, so get the cup, I guess. I have this, it's called Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. It's my favorite body spray. My husband got it for me one day when we were just shopping around and he knows that I like this body spray so he just got it for me as a nice little gift. Then I have this wallet that was in my uniform pattern that I just I just got a new wallet so I decided to just switch them out and I guess it just stayed in my car. I have oh got a bunch of stuff here. Got my husband's car charge um car phone charger. And I have my GPS charger. I have this um, antibacterial hand sanitizer from Bath and Body with the floral case on it. Right now, the one that I have in it is fresh strawberries. Smells really good. And of course, my last but not least is my GPS. Since I'm new to the state of Virginia, I'm a Texan, I guess I needed some sort of device that wouldn't use my phone's battery and could get me places. So I decided to just get this GPS. All right, so continuing on with the driver's side of things, this is my uh, phone clip that I use to vlog. My, I have this air freshener from Refresh, cause new car. I'm obsessed with keeping my car clean, so you'll see that I have a bunch of small little air fresheners. Uh, over here, I have my sun visor clip, since I don't have the little compartment that some cars have. So I, had to, I purchased this at Walmart. I have my sunglasses on it. I have the little scent portable from Bath & Body. I have, I believe is eucalyptus mint in there right now. And, of course, my side didn't have the mirror so i had to purchase my own hey guys <laughs> all right and to move on i have my radio it's the one that came with the car let me give you guys a little sound it's the one that came with the car oh, like the song all right and 
hanging off my this is for my GPS, a little GPS holder. Moving on to my rearview mirror, I have a rosary that was blessed for drivers, as it's like a driver protector to protect people that drive cars. And a little sad story about this. This is my dogs that recently passed away. His name was Twix. He was a Pomeranian. He was eight years old when I adopted him. And I fell in love with him as the same the same minute I adopted him, the same minute that I laid my eyes on him, I fell in love with him. So I just can't let go of his collar. Alright. So on the passenger door where is usually where my husband sits. There's nothing, try to keep it clean as possible. But I do have this little love, love, love bag from Victoria's Secret. And let me see if I can open this. Inside it, I have a bunch of little knickknacks that I can use for my car. I have black ice uh, air freshener. I have an ID holder for, for work, where I have to wear my military ID on my chest or whatever. Have some paper because you never know when you need to jot something down. I have these little carbon uh, clips for air freshener. It's Summer Berry by Perks. I have some dual icebreakers and strawberry fruit and cool mints. I have a pen because you never know if you need to write something down. I have more of these Fleet and Family readiness things in case my husband goes to the gym or whatever and I have mine on my keys. He just takes it from my car and then he takes it to go to the gym on base. I have this little blade. Um, you never know when you need to open something or whatever. This is actually my friend's but he left it in my car. <laughs> I just never got to returning it. I'll probably return it to him soon. I have my favorite, well my second favorite gum, Cinnamon Trident. Another pen. Two pens. I have this coupon from Victoria's Secret for new fragrance shopping. I have Purell hand sanitizer because my husband doesn't really like the scented one, so I just have this simple one. I have some headache medication because my husband gets frequent headaches, and I just have it in the car in case he gets a headache while we're driving. And I have what else do I have in there? I have a lighter. In case my friends that are in the car that smoke, they need a lighter. Or to shine my boots, I like to pass fire through my boots so it could shine. Right, I'll just leave that there. Now to my glove compartment. Well, here I have my auxiliary cord. It's a really long one, it reaches all the way to the back. And I have my phone charger that's currently hooked up right now. And my iPhone um, wall plug thing. Glove compartment, I have, as you can tell, some napkins and I'm obsessed with cliff bars so I have a bunch of cliff bars in here I have all the paperwork for my car and this little Nissan thing that they gave me I have a spare eyeglass clip from Walmart it's just my interior was that tan color so I decided to put the gray one on and I have for my electronic cigarette I have the charger the car adapter charger all right, let's just throw that back in there. Right. Now, let's go to the back, shall we? All right, so I'm in my back seat now, and I try to keep it as clean as possible. So I just have my cover so I won't forget it to go to work. I just leave it in my car whenever I get out from work back home. Just leave it in my car so I won't forget it the next day. And down here, I have this package that I need to mail out. Um, has just some stuff that I need to mail to some friends. And now, if we walk to the back, oh, sorry, I'm in my apartment complex. I have the 2011 Nissan Versa, my stickers. In the back, I have my uniform sweater in case it gets cold, a GPS kit for all the little accessories that came with my GPS. I have this Febreze auto freshener in case your car gets a little smelly. I have a spare cover in case I forget that one. I have a spare. I have earmuffs because in Virginia it's pretty unpredictable so if I want to keep my ears warm. I have a just in case a first aid kit. If I, can. I have all this stuff. I have band-aids and Kleenex stuff. And sanitizing, cotton swabs, 
cold pack, more band-aids, blister packs, stuff like that. What a first pack usually has. Sorry about the shaky camera. And I have this scent spray air freshener that makes your car smell like you just drove it off the lot with new car scents. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my what's in my car video. It's pretty simple. I don't like to keep it dirty. And once again, thank you for watching and hope you have a great one.